Deb here, the Simple Grower here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's a beautiful day today. I'm going to get outside and do a few things. Uh, but first, I'm in my kitchen. I'm going to be slicing up some beef and some venison to make some more beef jerky. I'm going to go ahead and uh, record this again. Um, last time I made it, uh, I don't know. I just, I'm hoping to get a few more camera angles that you guys might like to see as I'm making it this time. It's a two day process. So first I start slicing the meat and I go ahead and marinate it. And then I'll go ahead and smoke it tomorrow and finish it off in my dehydrator tomorrow. I'm hoping that the weather stays nice for my smoke. And I just put the knob on two for venison and about one and a half for beef jerky. So I have two venison steaks here that I'm going to go ahead and slice up. Be careful because it's, uh, it's, it's thawing out. Um, <clears throat> it's much easier to slice the meat when it's uh, still partially frozen. And here I have a uh, store-bought bottom round roast. Bought it on sale. And so I'll go ahead and slice that. Um, just so you know, I like to slice with the grain versus against the grain. Just depends on what you like. So I wanted to show you guys this uh, bottom round roast. Um, it has obviously quite a bit of fat on it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this excess fat off. Uh, it doesn't smoke well. Um, basically what it'll do is just turn rancid and it tastes pretty gross. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trim the fat off. Most of y'all know what uh, with the grain and against the grain means. Uh, so, but I'm just gonna show you anyway in case Somebody doesn't know. So here's the grain. And if I were to slice it against the grain, I would slice it this way. Slicing it with the grain, I'm gonna be slicing it this way. All across. And, oops, oh, sorry. Um, so basically, uh, you can do it either way. I just prefer, well, I, prefer, I, I like it both ways. But this time, I'm just gonna go with the grain. Uh, still got a little bit of, um, fat trimming there to do, but I'm gonna do it after I slice it because I can't really get to it very well. So here's the venison after I've unwrapped it. Super lean, don't need to kind of trim any fat off of this guy. Um, and if you've ever unwrapped fresh meat, fresh game, I don't care if it's uh, even beef off your farm, when it's fresh like this, when you unwrap it, it's a bloodbath. So just be ready for that. <laughs> so here's the uh, fat trimmings off that roast. Just wanted to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw this into the freezer, and then I'll use it, maybe render it down, or use it in some sausage later on. So the meat's all sliced up. I wanted to show you guys uh, the ingredients that I use for the marinade. Um, I don't use a proper brine, you know, the kind of uh, stuff that you have to wash off. Um, I use more of a marinade, and I refrigerate it uh, 12 hours overnight or so, and then um, I'll be ready to put it in the smoker. Get you a close-up here of the ingredients. Soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, black pepper, liquid smoke, salt, seasoned salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of spice, a little bit of cayenne in there. Um, and because I'm smoking the, the meat this time in my smoker, I mean, I'm smoking it in my smoker, I'm going to go ahead and take out the liquid smoke. I'll go ahead and post the recipe at the end of the video so you guys know exactly how much I put in of each thing. Um, so just so you know, my niece says that my beef jerk is the bomb. So... I'll take her word for it. And here's the meat, all bagged up, swished around in the marinade. Now I'll pop this in my refrigerator for, you know, usually about 12 hours I go. Um, I'm just gonna wait until the morning and then I'll put it in the smoker, put a light smoke on it, 
and then finish it in my dehydrator. So I'm all done putting the venison out onto the trays and they're ready for smoking. Filled up uh, all my trays for my Big Chief smoker. So I'm gonna have to do the beef in another batch. No big deal. So it's the next day and um, you saw the venison on the racks. It's all in the smoker now. And just wanted to show you me draining the beef into the sink. Not a big deal. Um, and holding up a piece of that beef. And it's gonna go in the smoker next. Here's a shot of the venison jerky all done. Racks and racks of it. Pretty amazing how small these pieces turned out to be. Look. Right here I'm going to insert a picture of what this started out as raw. It was huge compared to this. Anyway, it shrunk up pretty good. I guess it's because it's so lean. All right, venison's done, and now it's on to the beef, beef jerky. Here's a shot of the jerky all done. Venison's on the left, beef is on the right. They both shrink up, but uh, the venison really shrinks up. If you guys remember the size of the portions or the pieces before I smoked it and dehydrated it. 
any who's I'm glad you guys could come along um, I've really enjoyed it I enjoy making beef jerky I'm, I do it often and um, until the next time if you don't mind if you like what you see it's gonna get better and better I promise subscribe to my channel and smash the like button that would be lovely until then you guys take good care this is Deb at Simple Grower in the Pacific Northwest God bless and take good care bye Thank you.